Hi everyone, and here is a royal themed um, name video I am doing because obviously if you have been looking at the news at all you might realise that there's been a new prince born in England. I'm from England and I am in love with the royal family, I am a royalist, I did watch spend literally the whole day with my phone in my hand on Monday checking to see if the new prince had been born I was like that on um, Tuesday to see if there's any indication of them coming out and I did watch them come out which I was and I thought they were all so cute and I loved the interview they did and then I was ecstatic yesterday when they named him George Alexander Louis so today I am doing names that my top 10 names that mean um uh they mean um have royal meanings so um i will get started um first one is adele adele means of noble kind so nobility is royal like the most nobility in england are um, in the past have always been best friends with the royals or they have been related to royals some way um, so that is you know it does have a royal meaning Brendan is definitely a royal name it means prince um, my next one is Eric Eric means always ruler um, number four is a name that I really love, it's on one of my top names, it's Freya. Freya means noble lady, I do love that name Freya. Um, the next one is Lorena. Lorena is a Spanish word which has now be turned into a name and it means, in Spanish it means the queen. So that is definitely a royal one. Um, Patrick is Sim, has a similar meaning to Adele that means noble so again that does have a connection to royalty um next is Ryan Ryan is a name I like it's a boy's name and a girl's name it's unisex so I really like that one it means descendant of the king so that's is a royal name um the next one is one which is definitely you can't deny it does not have a royal name meaning it mean it is sarah and it means princess so that is perfect for, i think that is a really good name for um you know parents when they're naming their kids because most parents do like go to my kids oh they're my princess you know and all that sort of stuff well sarah actually does mean princess so yeah, that, I think that's a good choice for anyone like that. Um, the next one is Stephen. So Stephen, as well as the uh, nicknames, the variants of it, such as Stephen, all mean crowned. So crowning is what happens when you become king or queen, or whatever they call them in other countries, whether it be Tsar, Sultan, Emperor. I know Tsar's not used anymore, but it was the first one that came to mind. Um, next one is a female version of the name Stephen. It is Stephanie. And Stephanie also means crowned. So I like that name, Stephanie. I do think it's a pretty one. And that, and I think that is a one for, you know, variants of the boy Stephen. But they do sound quite different to me. Um, Stephen and Stephanie, I do think they do sound a lot different. So, you know, I think they do distinguish it. Although they do have the same meaning and they do look similar when you look at them. They do sound completely different to me. <clears throat> so, I know this is only been a short video, but I hope you like it. And please go and check out my other two royal themed videos. Thank you. Bye.